Welcome back, everybody. Still making progress here at my hotel. So I just need to finish out the first floor. There's got a few other rooms that need to be done, and then we can move on. So this takes us behind the scenes into the back of the kitchen area. But I don't want the general public going in here, so we're going to put up a sign, staff only. Only. And they do not enter. We'll see. I think that sign will stay there. Oh, good. I was afraid it might pop off when they open the door. But now that should at least discourage the general public from going in that door. But it lets the kitchen staff get where they need to be. Here are those torches. Oh, everything's lit up. It just looks a little gloomy, but I think we're okay. Oh, well, that's even better. That's so we got no uh, no spawnable areas until we get in here, which makes sense. I'm going to need to put lights in these conference rooms anyhow. But even getting rid of all those torches, the hallway is still good. But I think. I'm going to put in uh, lanterns above each of these doors. Uh, there we go. Just, uh, well, it brightens it up so it doesn't look as gloomy. And it's kind of a little bit of architecture in there, so it's not such a bare you know, hallway. It's got something in it. So the lanterns will draw you to the doors that you need to go into or, or are allowed to. And the other doors you're not supposed to be in, so no lanterns over those. So this is my first conference room here. Still got a little bit of light I'm going to need to take care of. I think for this one I'm just going to have a big table sitting in the middle of the room. Let's see. We don't want it too close to the front wall because I want it like a little coffee stand for your donuts and coffee. Because I don't know how you can have a conference or a meeting without donuts and coffee. Or bagels or something. You're going to have to give them snacks. Snacks and beverages. Or they don't show up to your meeting. I think we all learned that. And that's off. I don't want a bench seat at the end. I think I want two seats at the end of the table. So we're going to have to widen this sucker up. So if we get rid of all this, and I think I'm just going to move and move all the seats out a little bit. So right there, that is centered over the window, which is a little different than being centered over the room. And once again, I don't want to go too far towards the front or towards the door here because I want to put in a corner let's make a bench there so like over here I'm going to put a, the snack station or beverage station is going to be right here in the front oh, come on. and I'm going to stick a light up here not because I need it but because it just looks better it's brighter I keep saying that. You probably already know that by now, so I'm just putting a light in. I'm not going to tell you why anymore. Let's see if we do like that. That should give us enough room to get around the table. Yeah. No, that's way too close. I was hoping to cram in another chair, but I don't think that'll work. I want to have plenty of room to get around the table and stuff. So, and since this is three wide now, I can go with the same type of design for the tables I did in the restaurant with just blocks and slabs. Make a nice, sturdy conference table. There we go. There. 
So that should light up the whole room. Maybe, maybe one in the middle, right, right in the middle of the, oops, right in the middle of the table. But that's not the middle of the table. Uh, there we go. Much better. I'm just gonna stick an extra chair over there. Um, probably need two at the end here. There we got a full. Let's get rid of that one. It's kind of in the way. I can see having one extra chair, but not two of them all crammed in. We put a little coffee stand there, so that should uh, give people something to drink. Come on. There. And then, so it doesn't look like it's just floating pieces of wood. It looks like a little table. Okay, so I think that's going to almost wrap this conference room up. I'm going to put a couple flowers and ferns on the table here. Just to pretty it all up. Now I need to come back and fill in that window. Um, can I stick a... Where's... Do I have dirt? No. I was going to put a plant in here, but I need to get some dirt. I went and got some dirt, so I'm going to plant like a bush in here. So I think that'll make it look a little nicer. I'm just stacking the azalea bush with the azalea leaves on top. You can put a picture over here and one on the opposite wall. Well, there. Different pictures on the walls. And then I think another plant over here will look good. I've got one of these uh, sunflowers. So we got a plant on one side and flowers on the other. And that's not the right direction. I'm going to have to put that over he here. I don't know what I can put in that corner. But I'm going to, if I get rid of this chair and move it, I can put the plant or the flower over here. Yeah. So you can actually see it. Although it probably would go better over where the coffee maker is. And we'll just shove the chair over in that corner. Because we need to do something with the chair. Last, just fill in the window here. And I think that finishes up this conference room. So we have one den. And I've got, I think, three on this floor. So we'll go into this one. This one is a got two doors in it, so I need to figure out what kind of design. I think this may be like a training room or something. But I do need to get some more supplies, and I'll be back in a sec. So after some consideration, I decided I'm going to turn this conference room into like a training center. Or a classroom. So I think I need to get rid of this door here. Because the two-door... Uh, Setup was not working. We'll cover this over with the picture. And then this door here, I need to move farther out or back. So it's in the back of the room, like over here. That way you come into the classroom in the back, not by where the teacher is. Now, you don't want to disturb everybody. It's in class if you come in late or something. Good. I thought I was going to fall through into the water. So the door goes there, cover this up, fill in this wall here, like so. And then we just mustered up the doorway. Um, I do have a couple of those. And, oh, there. And a door. Um... Let's turn around, put it there. Okay. So that is our new entrance into the training or the classroom. Um, still think I need one more light in here just to make it brighter, but that's too low. 
So maybe I can do this uh, recess in the ceiling. Just pop another one of those slabs there. And that's not too bad. That, then you don't bang your head on the light when you're going up, you know, through the hallway. Let's just finish this doorway off so we don't have everything coming in from the outside. I need to have a doors. There we go. Got a couple new doors. So now we're safe from the outside. Let's finish up this classroom. I guess the first thing I need to do in a classroom is to put a lectern. That way the teacher can stand up here and lecture. Ooh, boy, that is dark. Ooh, really dark. Um, let's... I think I'm going to try my recess lighting trick again. Get. So I'm gonna need a sl slab of birch. I'm gonna need uh, something. Yeah, a slab of birch and some cobble, maybe. Oh no! Came back from my supply run. There are zombies in the hallway. Boy, it doesn't take long. You leave one, one block of spawnable land, and you're gonna have mobs everywhere. Anybody else in here? No, okay, good. So I've got my birch. I just got a whole block of birch because I can do the same thing. Light it there. And then I doesn't matter what I put in here because it's um, cobble. Nothing's going to see it from up top. So I'm going to do another birch block here. That way it matches down below. And that should light everything up and give us a nice classroom. And every classroom needs a projector screen or a blackboard. So I've got these. So you can pretend there's writing on it or what have you. And then I guess the other thing you need are seats for people to sit in. So I should be able to get three across. And then one, well, I'll have to see what I do in the back, because I think I want another coffee stand right here. Like that. Put the coffee makers there. Let me just throw a pot with um, this little fern there. And I can throw a couple extra seats back here. They don't have to be even. And that gives us a nice big classroom for people to look at. That corner looks a little bare, so I'm just going to stick this little table over here with another little plant. Maybe that's where the classroom materials will sit. You can come up and get them. And then we just need a couple photos. That one will be okay. Another painting over here. Let's go with something, uh, something smaller. There. This should give us, always get the same one. There we go. So I think that does it for this classroom. Finally, we come to our last conference room. So I've cut out a few holes in the roof. So this is where we're going to put our lighting. Ah, dang it. Would have to fall right on the edge. So we'll put our uh, 
full birch block there and just hang the lighting down. So we can do that over here. Oh, good, that one fell through. That looks like it works. And just to balance it off, I'll put another one here. Like that. And one more. One more here. Oh, come on. How do they land right on the edge? So now that the lighting is taken care of, we can uh, put in our table. So this is just going to be one gigantic conference table here. I think. Two, three, yeah, three across. There's one, two, three. I don't want to get too close to the end over there. One, two, three. And then we can just put a Solid block all the way in the middle, and then slabs all the way around. Like there we go. And you can barely see the uh, full block in the middle with the slabs, so it's kind of looks like a real table. And then over on this wall is where the beverages are going to be. So let me get that and um, I guess we can use sandstone just to put the just a single shelf all the way around. I think I'm going to front them with uh, trap doors, and then I've got a couple of these brew stands for coffee makers. Better get those in there. So I've got this flower I want to put in here. But I just realized it has to be on this wall over here because it won't face the right direction. So let's pull all this up and then we'll just stick it in this uh, on one side and then we'll just set the counter on the opposite side. Get rid of this. Counter doesn't need to be that big. You no, know, on the corner. Let's move it over more. There. Oh, and that flower kind of looks a little more straight. And then on the table, I'm just going to put a couple of these little uh, potted bushes. So just a few more things to finish it up here. Got some more trap doors. Don't want the dirt falling out all over the place. Got to put it in a box. I think that takes care of this room. And then the only thing left to do is put signage up. So I'm just going to label these very inventively. So this is going to be conference room one. And then we'll turn that white so you can read it. And then over here, this will be conference room two. And then we have one more. Can you guess? Maybe this will be conference. Well, conference. A uh, room. No, let's not put them on the same line. There we go. Conference room three. Now that they're all labeled and you can read them, and that is wrapping things up for today. 
Right, next up, we will come up here onto the second floor and start filling up some of these rooms so people can start actually staying in the hotel. But right now, I've got to say thank you all for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.